Good morning, everyone. This is Cindy with my Altered Muse. And today I'm going to be starting a brand new project and a new series. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be doing slow stitching. Um, it's funny. Um, when I was younger, it was just called... Um, cross stitch or it was called more like embroidery now i guess with everybody doing everything on machines and everything they've changed they've come up with the new phrase slow stitching <clears throat> so i guess i should say i've been slow stitching since i was about eight years old with my grandmother <coughs> excuse me so um here's what i want to tell you um <coughs> I ordered this kit. This is a slow stitch kit that I decided to order. I thought it would be fun to do with you guys. Um, the name of the Etsy shop that I got it from is Farm Style Studios. And she has beautiful, beautiful kits. Just beautiful. Um... I got this yesterday, and I'll go over what I got in the kit. I've already kind of started on it a little bit uh, last night. Um, I got this lovely large piece of um, pink fabric, and then this <clears throat> wonderful quilt scrap. It's not really a scrap. It's, um. let me see, I'll tell you how large it is. It is, um, well, I cut a little bit of it off, so I would say it was about five inches, about five and a half by five and a half, okay? And I have already um, decided how I'm going <clears> to <throat> do this piece. I'm going to I'm gonna stitch this onto um, the pink piece of fabric, which is um eight by eight so i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna um present this um in the final stage i may make a uh i may make a book cover but i'm thinking more like i'm gonna make a lace um have it as a lace keeper or something. I'm not sure. We'll figure that out later. But anyway, this is what I'm working on now. Let me move that aside and bring this over. This <clears throat> is the next piece. And um, this is the piece of lace that you get. <clears throat> and then you get this beautiful, beautiful um, quilt piece here and then I've kind of already got it placed how I want to do it um kind of like this um <clears throat> okay let me move this aside now you get so many lovely pieces to work with and um they range in there they range in size they're about Probably most of them are four by four, which is a nice size. And I'll just kind of flip through and show you all these lovely pieces of fabric here. Got a little piece of lace, another piece of lace. And, um, I mean, you get so many beautiful things to work with. This is two pieces of gauze, one piece of gauze, and then look at that. Isn't that pretty? <clears throat> And then this. And it comes with um, picture instructions of how you can lay it out or you can do ever how you would like to. And then it's tied up with this pretty, pretty um, piece of fabric ribbon that you can use. Might use that for the closure. And then I haven't even opened this yet. Um, this is a, a lovely little bag full of, this is bias tape. And um, <clears throat> some roses in that beautiful satin. 
And um, another lovely little piece. Let me just dump them out here. Um, buttons. <clears throat> another piece of um, fabric strip. And um, this piece of fabric strip. So you have pieces to put it all together. And um, I just think it's going to be so much fun. And I would love for you to join me. Um, if you don't want to buy the kit, you could, you know, grab your own scraps and, um, whoops, kind of work along with me. I'll kind of tell you um, what I'm using and the size, and you can join me. Um, oh, and then we get, you get a nice, um, skein of um, pink thread to stitch with. Okay, so let me move all this out of the way. I just love this, and I have already pinned that up there. I'm going to do that, and then this down here. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I thought I'm just basically doing a simple, um, I'm just basically doing a simple stitch here. I'm not doing anything, um, fancy, just, um, I was going to do the blanket stitch, but I just kind of decided to go ahead and do this, um, this simple tacking down stitch, straight stitch. And, um, it's so relaxing. I just, I just love it. Back in the day when I was doing this, um, many, many years ago, you could buy the kits that you were going to work on. Usually they were dresser scarves or pillowcases or something like that. And, um, <clears throat> They were already stamped. Um, that was the way they came. But the problem with that was that no matter how careful you were, when you got through, you could still see the, it was like a bright blue um, pattern underneath. And um, you could still see the um pattern and um that was the way you stitched for many many years and then lo and behold let me get a sip of coffee lo and behold um county cross stitch hit the country with a bam And it was the big craze. And then everybody was doing counted cross stitch. Um, I have done some beautiful pieces of um, counted cross stitch through the years. And I actually have um, counted cross stitch Christmas in my Etsy shop. I think everything's gone now. I'm gonna, uh, I need to get busy on that too and get some more in my shop. But, um, that was the craze for, oh my gosh, I don't know how many years. Maybe like 10, 20, I don't know, a long time. And um, it was so popular that there were counted cross stitch shops on every corner in every town. And um, they just had wonderful things. You could buy all your counted cross stitch fabric. Um, and they had patterns, they had kits. It was just the big ways. And then it kind of went away. I think some people still do it. Like I say, I do some Christmas things. And um, then slow stitching hit. And now <clears throat> everybody, well, before, let me back up. Before um, slow stitching hit, everybody started doing machine stitching. 
they were making quilts on the machine and just all kind of things like that. And um, I never have been too fond of the machine. I, I guess because he, as young as six, eight years old, I, I learned to um, stitch. And um, I don't know, I never did like doing it on the machine. I like to do it by hand. And now we have slow stitching, which it's just kind of come full circle. And um, <laughs> that's my dissertation on stitching, sorry. But um, this is just, <clears throat> I love it. I just love doing this. Um, and I love finding all the pretty, um, it's fun to go to charity shops and um, try to find things to stitch with, pretty, pretty vintage laces and things like that. Now this is gonna have beautiful lace on it. This is gonna have all kind of beautiful, it's just, this is gonna be breathtaking. I have all kind of vintage laces that I'm gonna attach. And like I say, I think I'm going to make a lace keep out of this and um, put in a bunch of beautiful, um, beautiful vintage laces and snippets and that kind of thing. But um, this is something that you can sit and do while you're watching TV. Um, you can stick it in your pocketbook and, you know, while you're waiting I don't know, but at the doctor's office or wherever, waiting on your kids to get out of gym practice, you can um, do this. So, um, yeah. Now, <clears throat> when I come back for the next video, I will have finished this and we will go on to another step in this process. Um, like I say, um, run on over to that shop and um, check her out. She's got such pretty things and she's very nice. And, um, we're leaving to go on vacation on Sunday and we'll be gone a week. And then the first couple of days when I get back, I'm sure I'll have, um, a lot to do. Um, so we won't be working on this again together for a little over a week, probably a couple of weeks. So that will give you time if you would like to purchase the kit for it to get to you. Or um, you can dig through your own stash and um, gather your supplies and be ready to go. I would say if you were going to gather your own supplies, you know, just get a bunch of fabric scraps. You know, they don't have to be two by two. I mean, four by four. You can make them larger, smaller, whatever. And um, little lace snippets, um, doilies. You know, most of us have like a little vintage stash of um, stitchery things that we have. So, um, you know, you could put your little kit together and um, be ready to go with me. And I hope you enjoy it. I know I will. And I was kind of wanting, I was kind of thinking I wanted to do something a little different. I'm, I'm still working on all my journals and we will still be doing journaling and um, everything. But I just decided I wanted to add something a little different um, to my channel. And um, I thought this would be fun. And um, I think, I'm not really sure Oh, this doesn't have a, 
this is can't tell what brand this is I don't think it's DMC and there's not a number on it I don't know I don't really think that's going to be enough to finish the whole project with but on some of it um, I will be doing white or cream and uh, so I think we'll be fine I ordered a piece of um, cream wool blend um felt yesterday i got it on amazon and it'll be here today and i might use that as my you know background for stitching some of this and um getting everything ready i like to use felt it makes a nice sturdy background for you to stitch on and um, it's easy to make into projects <clears throat> and um, I decided it was under $20 for I don't know it seems like there were a couple of yards maybe and um, I'll have it for a while and um, I will use that in this project. You can also pick up squares at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's. I will tell you that, <clears throat> excuse me, the felt that you pick up at Hobby Lobby is a better quality and thicker than at Michaels and Joann's and Walmart. But I decided since I was going to be doing this and I've got several projects um prepared I just went ahead and uh, purchased a nice piece of felt that um, is a wool blend and uh, I think it will work really well okay you can see how fast this goes just sitting here talking to you I've done this side and um it's just a pretty, let me pull my needle. It's just a pretty old fashioned type of stitching. And um, I just love it. So um, yeah, I'll see where I've already got that done. And um, <clears throat> we'll, um, we'll keep working. And I'm gonna be adding all kind of beautiful elements and um, I'm an embellishment kind of girl. I love to add pretty, pretty ribbons, um, flowers, and I love vintage uh, snippets of lace and everything. So anyway, <clears throat> this is going to be our newest project to work on. And um, we're going to add this into the mix with everything else that we're doing. So, <coughs> excuse me. So I hope you'll join me, subscribe to my channel, and we'll have fun together. And until next time, thank you, and um, get your supplies ready, and we'll keep stitching. Bye-bye.